Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm Domi, and uh, I got a little bit of a vlog for you guys today. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I kind of wanted to get in touch with you guys. I know I haven't really been uploading the most consistently uh, over the last couple of weeks, and um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys uh, an update and let you know what's going on and just keep you in the loop. So um, first things first, uh, I'm going to talk about my team and uh, this upcoming event, which is Gamers for Giving in Michigan this coming weekend. Um, so if you don't know, uh, G4G, or Gamers for Giving, is part of the HCS Season 1. It's actually the last event of the season before the Season 1 Finals, and it's the last chance for teams to qualify. Um, so our team is going to be going. Uh, that is me, Russo, Duramis, and Floppy. Um, if you guys uh, remember, uh, in for UGC St. Louis, which is the previous event, uh, my team was me, Russo, Valen, and Absolutely. Um, Basically, uh, the whole team kind of just uh, dissolved after that event. Everyone kind of went their separate ra ways. Uh, I, you know, no hard feelings towards anybody. It was all uh, like a, a mutual decision. Um, so I went back and I hit up Russo and Floppy, who um, were my old teammates in Halo 4. Um, and uh, we started getting some games going with uh, those two guys and also I Dodge Bullets. Um, some stuff uh, happened with Bullets in one of the HCS Cups, and we decided uh, it would be in our best interest as a team to replace him with Russo. Um, obviously, uh, now all of our, our players are just insanely talented, um, and I, I have full confidence in these guys. I think we can do really well at G4G. Um, so that's my team situation, basically. Um, we're, uh, we've been practicing really hard uh, for G4G. Um, getting into the top eight and qualifying for the season one finals will be difficult um, because if you don't know the way the cup works um, is that if you change more than one player on your roster uh, basically you lose all of your HCS points and you have to reset basically um, and there was basically no way around team changes. Um, going into the season, uh, you know, I wanted to stick with the same team throughout the entire season because I knew that was going to be our best shot at making it into the finals. Fortunately, things didn't work out, and there was really no way I was going to be able to keep the same team the entire entire season. Um, if I had, though, since I got top 16 at Columbus and I also got top 16 at St. Louis, um, Mixed in with uh, a bunch of placings from the online cups that they hold every weekend. Um, going into the, the finals, we very possibly could have had a top eight seed. Um, unfortunately, you know, stuff happened and it is what it is. Um, so now we would have to basically get a top four finish uh, at g for g in order to qualify. So that's, a, that's a really, really tough goal. Um, I know we can do it. It's possible for us all four guys on our team are just, we're all very um, smart players and we know how to win. It's just gonna basically be a matter of execution. Um, so if we show up and we kick some ass, then we have a chance. But um, that's basically the team situation. Um, for HCS season two, which is gonna be starting up in April, uh, I'm gonna try to solidify a team in advance that can travel to every event 100%, uh, no question. Uh, because that is 100% the best way to make it to the finals. So um, that's basically what I'm going to be working on. Uh, but however, now I'm going to kind of shift gears and uh, talk about what's going on with the channel and what you guys can expect to see from me over the next few weeks and months and yada, yada, yada. So um, again, uh, I haven't really been uploading much over the last couple of weeks, and just the reason for that is uh, it's been really busy. Uh, I have... I, you know, I'm a full-time student in college, and then plus I get on with my team every night to practice and, and really grind. Um, so I really haven't had a lot of time lately. Um, fortunately, though, after G4G, uh, we're going to have a lot of time as it's going to be the end of the season, and the next season isn't going to start until April. Uh, so I'm going to try to really get on the grind with the YouTube stuff, um, try to get like at least like a video a day. If that's not possible, then maybe like four to five videos a week. Um, yeah, I, I really, really want to start making a lot of videos, and I have some cool ideas. Um, 
one of the the main one being the uh, like kind of tutorial videos. If you've been following my channel for a long time, I used to do this thing during the uh, competitive Halo 4 time called Domi's Insight, where I basically uh, commentated over my competitive uh, games, kind of ran through my decision making, and uh, just kind of explained like why I made the decisions that I made and like how it helped my team win. Um, so I'm gonna hopefully try to do some more of that. Um, uh, it was always a very well received. Uh, they were always well received videos on my channel. Uh, so basically, what I would be doing for MCC is commentating over my games uh, and just kind of explaining like th why I did what I did and um, how that helped my team win and just basically like a, like a tips and tricks kind of thing um, in order to help you guys become better Halo players. Um, so I think that'll be really cool. I have some really good uh, games from like scrimmages and tournaments against some top teams. Um, we played some really close series against Noble Black, uh, which is APG, Arcanum, Maniac, and um, and Ares, Ares carries. Uh, we had some this really really close Warlord, uh, Warlord King of the Hill uh, against them. We also have some really close games against Optic Halo, like uh, some really close Slayer games, uh, 50, 47 kind of stuff, um, where I think I could, if I can explain, you know, um, how we were playing that and, you know, how we were working as a team, I think you guys could really take a lot from it. Um, so I definitely want to do that. That's like the main thing I want to do. And hopefully do like two of those a week would be really cool. Um, and then alongside of that, um, you know, just maybe uh, in just matchmaking gameplays uh, where I do really well or hit some crazy snipes or whatever, um, or just some single clips or, you know, maybe some uh, some games with live uh, callouts and stuff with the team. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, if you guys have any other ideas for stuff I could upload, definitely let me know. I'm always, you know, open to ideas and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's really all I wanted to, to touch on. Um, just kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop so you know what's going on uh, with me and my channel and what to expect and that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, um, and I hope you enjoy all the videos that are going to be coming in the future. So yep, catch you guys next time. Peace.